This video is the solution to task 3, as requested. Let's win millions. We are supposed to make sure that using these numbers will make us win the jackpot by running only to commands. As stated, our mold has got us a copy of the program. So make sure you download the program to your directory. Already downloaded mine and move them to the same directory as the working directory. Looking at the piece of documentation, we can see that players can pick six numbers from two separate pools of numbers, five different numbers from 1 to 75, one number from 1 to 15. The objective is to match all six winning numbers. In a drawing to win the jackpot, the chances of winning the jackpot are 1 in 258,890,850. That's a great chance, don't you think? We cannot modify the program GM. We can only give the mold to shell script commands not more than three lines. And we cannot use some characters to avoid detection. Let's run the program with the numbers and see. Now let's take a peek at the functions in the GM program. To understand a bit of the program, this command lists all the functions and the system processes. We pipe the command to list just the program function, which is represented by T. We can see a print function. Let's assume that that is the function that prints if we have one or not. Next is to see the kind of message we get when we either win or lose. We can see that the numbers get displayed first, followed by the message. Now, we need to see the kind of message we get if we win the jackpot. Because the jackpot is the target, Let's view the GM program with CAT, because with CAT, we are likely to see the content of the strings. Here, we can see all the messages, depending on the numbers used. We can clearly see the message we get when we win the jackpot.
we will use it to create a printf function. Let's see again how the numbers are displayed. We see that numbers are printed, followed by the message. Now we assume it is the same for when we win the jackpot. These are what we need for the printf function. Next, we create a .c file with the printf function to print out the numbers and the congratulatory message. You can name this file anything you like, save and exit. Let's take a look at the tip that was given to us to help us solve this task. LD underscore preload. LD underscore preload is an environment variable used in Unix-like operating systems to preload dynamic shared libraries before all other libraries. When a program is executed, this variable allows you to specify a list of libraries that should be loaded into a program's memory space before it starts running. This can be particularly useful for intercepting and modifying the behavior of functions and symbols in other libraries or the program itself. Here, the second line compiles the source file test.c into a shared object file named my printf. So, the third line means that the functions defined in my printf.so will be preloaded and used when executing other program that is run immediately after it is executed. Save and exit. Next is to execute the .sh file we just created. Then we run the GM program again and see what we get. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe if you are yet to do so. Yeah. It worked all right.